Love and A10 but hate the monthly subscription fees? Or maybe you've tried self-hosting but got stuck trying to make it accessible online for webhooks? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the best of both, a powerful self-hosted N8N instance running right on your computer with a secure public URL. And the best part, it's completely free. So why are we using Docker for this? Because installing N8N and its database directly on the computer can be messy and complicated. Docker packages the entire N8N application and all its dependencies into a clean, isolated container. Think of it as a perfect pre-configured N8N box that runs exactly the same for everyone. First thing that we need to do is download Docker. So go to the docker.com, select download Docker for desktop and click on the appropriate version based on your hardware. On this screen, you can optionally create an account or skip it if you don't want to. And then in the search bar, just search for NA10. And the image that we're looking for is this at the top. Click pull and give it a minute. Once installed, here at the left we have the Docker menu. Go to the images, click run, expand the optional settings. You can give the container the name, although this is optional. You can specify the port. The default one is 5678. And somehow this isn't working for me, so I'm going to change that to 8000. We can also specify the volume, which is the persistent storage of your container. And here, environment variables, if you want to pass some configuration on startup. Once started, just click on the URL. And if you had to update port like me, you will just need to change the port number here. Type in your details and click next. Fill in the details on this page and click get started. Running NA10 with its database normally means running multiple long and confusing commands, especially if you have several services. It can be a headache and a simple error and the container configuration won't work. Docker Compose turns that entire mess into one simple command. Inside, you define everything that you need, NA10, database, and all other services that you might require in a single recipe file called Docker Compose. This file lists all the services and all the settings. And then all you need to do is just run a single command. Docker Compose will read the recipe and builds the entire application for you, all perfectly connected and configured. And if you need to stop everything, it's just as easy. One file and one command. So even if you have started everything using the Docker Compose command, you can still go to the Docker for desktop and see all the containers that have been started using the command. And if you click into individual one, you can see a container logs. And if there has been an error, you'd be able to see it here. Likewise, if the container is ready to accept connections, you'd be able to see that as well. And then each individual container will have its own log messages. And then you can also see all the images that have been used to start this container stack using Docker Compose file. By default, anything you save inside the Docker container gets deleted along with it. For NA10, this means you will lose all your workflow data and settings. The volume solves this. Think of it as an external USB drive for your container. It saves your important data, like your NA10 workflows and credentials, in a folder on your actual computer, safely outside of the container. You can stop, delete, or update your NA10 container anytime, and your data will remain perfectly safe, ready to be plugged right back in. Our NA10 instance is running perfectly in Docker, but it's trapped on your computer at the local address, localhost. No service on the internet can reach it to send any webhooks. Ngrok solves this problem instantly. It's a simple tool that creates a secure tunnel from your public internet directly to the NA10 container running on your machine. With a single command, Ngrok gives you a public URL. You can paste this URL onto any service webhook settings. When that service sends a notification, the public URL catches it, NROG forwards it through a secure tunnel, and your local NA10 workflow triggers instantly. So first, in order to download the NGROG, go to ngrog.com slash download. And here on the left, you have different operating systems where you can download NGROG. You can do it on Windows, Mac, Docker, Linux, Raspberry Pi. I highly recommend doing it for Docker or Docker for desktop. And this is what I'm using in this video because all of my NA10 installation runs locally inside Docker. So all you have to do is just pull another image into your Docker Compose file. Next, you want to create an account if you don't already have one. 
I'm just going to sign up with Google, select my company email address, continue, create an account. And here you can enable multi-factor authentication, but you can, I'm going to skip it for now. On this screen, you just select your role and select why you're using it. And then, then on the left side, we have the authentication token. And this token is actually very important if you want to have the same URL between the sessions. So you have to copy it and attach it onto your startup. So then every time you restart Ngrok, it will use the same URL. So here is the Docker Compose file that I'm using for my local N8N environment. We've got the Postgres container with the database settings. We've got the N8N container that has the database settings and other environment variables. Both of these containers has got their own volumes to keep the data persistent between the sessions. And then I have added this ngrok container that will expose my local URL into a public URL. So in order to get this stack running locally inside the location where the Docker Compose lives, all I have to do is type in Docker Compose up slash D and all three containers have been started on the default Docker network. So then if you have a Docker for desktop, you can look at the images and containers and you can see that the images have been downloaded and that the containers are running. To check the exposed public URL, all you have to do is go to this localhost URL and here you can see the list of all the URLs that have been exposed. So now that you know the URL, you want to go back to the Docker Compose file and replace the webhook URL with the URL you have seen inside the localhost. Finally, we need to restart the environment for this change to take effect. So all we have to do is type in Docker Compose down, followed by Docker Compose up. This local setup is incredible for development and testing. But even with a public URL, it's not designed for high traffic or performance. So it leads to the ultimate question for a permanent live setup. Should you manage it yourself on a platform like AWS or just paid for the official N8N cloud subscription? N8N cloud is like buying a reliable ready to drive car. You pay for the convenience to get where you're going. Self-hosting on AWS is like being given all the high performance parts to build your car. It can be faster, cheaper, and perfectly customized, but only if you're a mechanic who knows how to build it and keep it running. Go for N8A Cloud if you want to focus on building workflows and you want to save time. Also, if you are not an expert in cloud, it will take you too long to figure it out. And if you want predictable monthly costs with support included in case you get stuck. Choose AWS if you have some prior experience and you're happy to set it up yourself. And also you enjoy managing infrastructure and are willing to invest time and set up into ongoing maintenance. And if your N8N usage is quite high, then using AWS might justify the cost associated with investing time into initial setup.